awesome possum hobbies and games. I'm Chris and I'm back with another magic opening. This is Bloomborough's starter kit. So what this is, is a beginner set that has two different decks. This has a green and white deck and a blue and red deck. These are 60 card decks that are used specifically for the standard format. Um, it has a magic guide, a code that unlocks both decks in Magic Arena, so you can have some extra cards, and two cardboard deck boxes, which are pretty much garbage. And then also included with it for each deck is gonna be a full card. Let's go ahead and open it up and check out what's in the box. So first things first, you have a starter play guide. This is great for beginners to learn how to play 60 card formats. Or, and then you can use that knowledge to be able to play other formats, but you know, it has the, the nice little color wheel, what the contents of the box are, uh, and then the play area, how to start start playing, the combat, game actions, how to read a magic card, etc., etc. If you don't need this, take it to a local game store and drop it off, and they could give it to a player that, that would actually need this. If you've been playing magic for any kind of time, you don't need this. I either recycle it or give it to someone that needs it. Um, and then you get these two cardboard deck boxes. For me, these go straight in the garbage. I mean, recycling. And you get these two decks. Let's see. Let's just we're opening this up. On the outside of each of these two decks, you got the nice little foil card. They're just kind of set in there. So be careful when you open the box. You don't want to damage those. Let's go ahead and zoom in and go over the individual decks. We'll start with a white green deck. And we're going to stop and just talk on the rares and mythics. So, uh, bike, uh, Bark, uh, Long Eared of the Law for green, a white, and four generic. It's a 4 4 legendary creature rabbit soldier with vigilance. When this card enters, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. So you can target itself and one other creature or two other creatures. And it's up to. So if you don't have two other targets, you don't have to um, not target it. So whenever a creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it attacks, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on it. So this goes well in an attracts the deck or other counter style decks. Let's go on to the actual package. The rest of the 60 card deck. Sarah Redeemer, two white, three generic for a two four creature angel soldier with flying and whenever another creature you control with power two or less enters, put two plus one plus one counters on that creature. So if you have uh, powers, lots of creatures with power two, um, they're going to come in and play with extra plus one plus one counters. So if there's small little guys, one ones, two twos, etc., etc., they're going to come into play with a little bit bigger uh, with extra counters. Classification this is a reprint. Two green, five generic for enchantment aura, enchant creature. Uh, when it enters, tap en enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus 20, plus 20. So if you're able to flash this in somehow at the end of your opponent's turn, this is a great way to be able to make a creature almost unstoppable. Almost unstoppable. They could block it with one ones, but if you give it flying or even trample, it might make it a little bit too big. Fangkind Green Shell is the next card. Two green, three generic for a four six creature elemental turtle with reach. As long as you control 10 or more lands, creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Uh, when this card or another creature you control with toughness greater than its power enters, Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you can put it in the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, you put it into your hand. Great way to draw some extra cards, especially if you're able to go through and build your deck around having cards that, that aren't even numbers between the power and toughness. So it's a 2-2 two, two, or 4-4. Four, four. They're not going to get the abilities, but if you have them 2-3s, 1-2, two, two, or even this 4-6, you're able to, to get extra cards in your hand after this guy's already in play. Phineas, Ace Archer, a green, a white, it's a 2-2 legendary creature, Rabbit Archer, with Vigilance and Reach. And when this card attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on each of other creature you control that is a token or a rabbit. Then if creatures you control with 
total power 10 or greater, draw a card. Warren Elder, actually, I'm not gonna talk about that, because the comments. If you wanna check out the comments, you can just pause the video. Remember, these are for 60 card decks, so you're gonna have duplicates. It's not a commander format. Any more rares in this? There isn't any unique cards in this. I believe all of them have been printed in the regular Bloomboro set. So if you don't want to get the particular rares or the mythic from this, there's other ways of getting those cards. This is pretty much strictly for beginners. I don't recommend taking this to a standard tournament. You're not gonna do very well. The rest of these are gonna be basic lands. A couple rabbit tokens, rabbits on both sides. And then, hey, arena code. If someone wants to use it, go for it. On your turn card and a Advertisement. Let's go on to the next deck. Next deck is Bria Riptide Rogue for a blue or red and two generic for a 3 3 legendary creature auto rogue with prowess. So, whenever you cast a non creature spell, this spell gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Other creatures you control have prowess, so it gives that prowess ability to all the other creatures you have. And then, whenever you cast a non creature spell, target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. So being able to play extra spells and make your, your board state grow, and then on top of that, it's gonna start making it so your creatures can't be blocked, so they're able to get in there and do some damage to your opponent. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of the pack. Mockingbird, a blue. An X and one one, so for an X generic. A uh, creature, it's, it's a bird bard flying, and you may have Mockingbird enter, the, uh, enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield with mana value less than or equal to the amount of mana spent to cast it. So if you want, you can pay an extra for generic, so that would be a total of five to be able to copy um, Bria, but it's equal or uh, or less than, so you can you could have only had to spend three for that X, and then um, as you can as you cast uh, the mocking bird, except it is a bird in addition to its other types and has flying. So it is important to not copy the legendary creatures. So that doesn't do you any good. Next one's Mind Spring. Two blue, X generic, sorcery, it's simple, the straw X cards. It's a sorcery, so you have to do it during your turn. You can't do it at the end of your opponent's turn unless you're able to give it a flash somehow. Um, and then it is just drawing X cards. So if you have an extra five mana, two blue, three colorless, you're able to go through and draw three cards, etc., etc. Let's go on to the next card. Elenia, Divergent Storm, a blue, a red, and three generic for a three five legendary creature otter wizard. And whenever you cast a spell, if it's a first instant spell or first sorcery spell or the first otter spell you, other than this card you've cast this turn, you may have target opponent draw a card. If you do, you get to copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So if you had Mind Spring in the, be your, your first spell that you cast, you're able to go through and draw you spent that five, you're able to draw three and then draw three again from the copy as long as you're giving your opponent an extra card gift. It makes it so you're able to go through and cast extra spells and do all kinds of fun things just by allowing your opponent to be able to draw a card. And this guy just sticks around and allows for awesome things to happen. It's a cool card. I'll put that in my wizard's deck. Sword of Vengeance, three generic for an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has first strike, vigilance, trample, and haste, all for the equip cost of three generic. The rest are gonna be comms and commons. Like I said before, these are primarily for beginners. 
if you want the single cards, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper just to go through and buy them singles at your local game store or um, to buy them on TCG Player or Card Kingdom or whatever your, your favorite online magic broker is. All right, it's TCG Player because it gives me great variety at a, a pretty reasonable price. I've had very good luck with them so far, of course. I am not sponsored by any of them, but there are many, many choices out there. If you're a new player, these are not bad decks to start with. If you like Commander more though, they have the the Commander decks. That those will be videos will be coming out here soon. I have to wait for my pre-orders to come out. So there's the islands and mountains and otter tokens, copy tokens on the other side on your turn. And hey, look, another magic. If you want, here you go. Be the first to go ahead and, and grab it on your turn and advertisement. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it had enough information to give you, give you a choice of whether or not you want to buy these uh, beginner decks. Starter get, kits are always important, especially for those new players. Um, if you have friends or family who are interested in magic and never tried it before, these might be a, a great gift. So check them out. If you have any questions, please just leave it in the comment section down below. Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic week and remember to keep it rolling. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take the time to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated. Have a great day and keep them rolling.